What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming and yes, we are here with Golgara challenge mode, baby If you guys are like man Snipes you sound tired. Well, let me tell you long weekend of trials I don't think I've gotten more than five hours of sleep in the past month every single weekend every single day trials is live We carry people and so far we've carried over 1500 guardians to the lighthouse we help you in raids. We help you on challenge mode Golgoroths. We're going to be doing everything, guys. The list, the line gets insane long, so we tell people that we will help those who support us first just so people don't come in, get what they want, and leave. So donators, people that are always there collecting them beat bucks and stream, all that extra stuff, you guys get help first for anything you may need in Destiny, challenges, quest lines, whatever you need. The details to everything it's just in the description below. Please do check it out. Check out our live stream. Email me for any questions. We're on both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And if you have an old gen console, we can actually recover your account on the new gen and get it done for you. That's right. TKO is here for the long run, baby. Anyways, this is the most efficient strategy. We we pretty much figured it out. I mean, hey, this only released like a couple hours ago and the video and the tutorial is already up. So as you guys know, I'm over here on the right. I'm going to get Golgoroth's attention to the right. Everyone is stacked on the left. We have one assigned gaze catcher. As you guys know, the challenge in this is six orbs, six gazes. Everybody gets a, uh, everybody gets a gaze. Uh, has to get a gaze on your team pretty much, right? So I'm the second gaze catcher. My first job was to make Golgoroth look this way so the guy in the back can shoot him. Now he's going to do the counter down. I shoot him in the back. I have the, uh, the gaze now. I'm going to come all the way around here. We pretty much set up L1 orb, L2 orb, R1 orb, R2 orb, and the last two orbs we didn't even go for. All we did, we thought of a little tip and trick here. All we did was, hey, all we need to do is just get the gaze and drop the orb, or actually just get the gaze in general, and just not even worry about going down there and risking our lives because we're doing plenty of damage because you can do it in two waves six orbs six gazes two waves you have 12 orbs to get it done you don't need to utilize all 12 orbs but for the first one you do need to get all six down for what we know so far so what we're doing is we're shifting gazes one by one we've assigned everyone their order we're making sure that if somebody has that poison we call it the bullshit if somebody has that bomb suicide bomb bullshit then they're gonna divert to a certain location you guys can set all these locations there's a lot of variables in this but i'm telling you guys it's definitely doable it's definitely a lot a lot more tougher so yeah those of you, those of you that were like oh war priest is so easy huh bungie are you serious you guys are gonna be the ones that are gonna be like oh my god Golgoroth is so hard bungie why so Hey, thank you Bungie for the challenge. It was awesome. The emblem looks amazing. Oh my god, I can't wait till every single one of you guys gets it. I can't wait to see it. Every one of my friends list have one. It's going to be awesome. So make sure you guys are helping each other out. Make sure you guys are keeping positive, just being amazing, amazing, amazing. And my phone is going off, so I apologize for that, but this is a live commentary, so oh well. Anyway, so as you guys know, we pretty much went through the cycle. We had the last two people. The last two people that were getting the gaze were the individuals that weren't very comfortable with getting the gaze because they don't usually get it. So we pretty much stack up. We put the easiest guy to get the gaze at first. See, I'm getting the attention again here. And then what we have is the next three people are going to be very experienced gaze catchers. So that was me, my brother, and Candids. Pretty much getting it down, you guys putting the dps in we have tethers left and right we're keeping track of those enemies on the ground you want to make sure those enemies on the ground are very very crucial and then there's three seconds left i'm gonna get the gaze i'm gonna rotate around if you guys want to take my strategy in terms of getting the gaze and how we set up feel free to do so tell other people about it what i tell people is show them this video show them the video so they can see the perspective of what's going on how i'm doing everything look at shade step shade step is so cool by the way i almost ran into the green goblin bullshit looking guy and i almost died but look at those tethers it keeps the enemies from hitting you we're doing crazy good damage gold grout's gonna go down Nobody died. Uh, it's It was just such a clean run. We didn't even have self-res warlocks. It was something that was definitely worthwhile. It was worth the effort. Look at all. Look at that loot feed. Man, get, get that loot feed, guys. Look at that beautiful emblem. This was amazing. It was a great experience. 
keep in mind guys some key things I want to tell you about this please take the if anything take this away all right make sure that you guys are positive make sure that you guys have good teamwork make sure you have one designated leader I tend to be that in my raid group having one in your raid group is very important make sure that that individual is guiding everyone step by step make sure every individual knows his or her own role but more most importantly make sure you know your own role once you're comfortable with your own role that's when you can go and help other people understand their role and it's pretty it's pretty straightforward guys it's definitely a lot harder so i don't expect anyone to get it done first try and uh, it's going to be difficult with all those lfgs and stuff so good luck to every single one of you if you have any questions feel free to look down below even if you want to get some people to play with feel free to comment in the youtube uh, video below make sure please guys to like this video it's going to help a ton of other guardians see this get that 320 drop get those multiple drops we did do this on hard mode as you can tell but you know leaving a like on any of my videos it means a lot and if you subscribe that means even more to me um and if you take the time to go follow on twitter or go follow on the twitch stream man you are seriously an amazing tko family member so thank you for all your support you guys i'm making a conscious effort to make more videos i know i keep saying that but life is crazy with work performing beatboxing acapella all this crazy stuff so i'm gonna make i'm gonna try to keep improving on my shortcomings stay blessed guardians good luck i'll see you in the next video peace out